lately I've been trying so many fragrances and every time I try a certain new one I'm like haven't I already smelled this before and then it dawned on me that there are so many new releases that literally smell identical like that sweet tuberosey bubble gummy sort of scent it's like it's become the new thing amongst a lot of new releases so I'm gonna tell you guys about a few fragrances that smell basically identical like if you've smelled one you've smelled all of them and then I'm gonna rank them so if that sounds interesting to you then keep on watching and watch until the end because then I'll give you my ranking and I'll let you know which one is actually worth having in my opinion so there's about six or seven fragrances in this list I have most of them I think there's two that I don't have so we'll talk about those first I just was at shoppers like whatever our local fragrance boutique slash pharmacy and i tried so scandal from jean paul gaultier and this is what made me feel like i should just tell you guys about this and just do a video on these fragrances that smell identical i sprayed so scandal on my hand and this was only like a couple weeks after i had tried my way intense and i was like why are you the same thing i've smelled already so scandal is a different flanker of the scandal jean paul gaultier fragrances those typically are like very honey dominant not ones that i enjoy i don't really like a honey scent so i um also wasn't thrilled about so scandal but when i smelled it i was like i don't smell honey in this like this doesn't smell like what i'm expecting it to smell like instead i'm smelling this like bubble gummy sweet tuberose and it was like really headache inducing as well so it has tuberose it has raspberry it has milk and those are the main notes and it is kind of like a milky very very sweet tuberose fragrance but it's intense it's very very heavy it is a little bit headache inducing nice scent if you're looking for that very heavy sweet tuberose but it's it's kind of in that family then because i smelled it so close to when i smelled my way intense i found them to be incredibly similar incredibly similar and my way intense is also a tuberose dominant fragrance i have the original my way which i love which is still similar but it has a certain airiness and this almost like berry like opening it has a freshness it has a sort of like bite to it that sets it apart the my way intense is very sweet very very heavy and if you struggle with white florals and you struggle with two bros especially that very sweet bubble gummy one my way intense that's what it is and it doesn't have the freshness that the original my way has it smells so similar to so scandal so they're basically identical so there's two there's two that smell the same and they all smell like Givenchy L'Entredi. This is, again, tuberose dominant fragrance, sweet, bubblegummy, nice, but the same, the same as those two. In fact, the whole L'Entredi lineup, like I've never been a huge fan of it because it is just this very sweet, overpowering tuberose fragrance. For people that are huge tuberose lovers, it would be great for them. Like if you're a huge tuberose fan and you need to have all of them, then by all means enjoy for me i'm like i already have way too many like already the ones here i'm like this is way too many that smell the same the one that i have is the eau de toilette so it's a little bit lighter the eau de parfum is a little bit darker it has also it has a pear note it's a little bit more syrupy this one's lighter it's airier it's still that's it's still the same tuberose it's still this very very sweet tuberose and they're all they're all basically the same so this is the other one that smells the same then we have ralph lauren woman i actually really like this fragrance i wear it often i enjoy it it has a nice juicy fresh pear note it's a very uplifting like fresh light juicy fruity tuberose fragrance it has something that sets it a little bit apart and makes it more enjoyable for me just like the original my way i find it somehow more enjoyable there's a certain freshness to it that takes away from this overpowering too heavy like overwhelming scent this one is not overwhelming i like it but at the end of the day the scent profile is not unique it smells identical basically to the other ones the other thing with this one is it has this kind of creamy hazelnut accord it's not very prominent but it is there and it sets it apart it gives it a really nice creaminess it settles the sweetness a little bit the woodiness offsets the overpowering sweetness so i i really really enjoy this one and then we have another one that i love 
but undeniably very similar scent profile and it is the newer J'adore Infinisme. This one, very similar. Ladylike, sophisticated, mature, a little bit more mature than the some of the other ones that I've mentioned. It is a little bit peppery. It's a little bit less sweet. It does smell like a very mature, elegant lady, but it does still have this very sweet tuberosey facet. Very similar. This one is probably a little bit more deep, rich, and unique. Like it sets it sets itself apart from the other ones. This is more of a nighttime version of all the other ones that I've mentioned, where all the other ones are kind of playful, girly. This one is your night out lady in like a fur coat or like just a fancy wool coat. This. But very similar scent profile. And finally, we have Kayali Deja Vu White Flower. This is also a sweet, heavy, tuberose white floral scent it has gardenia as well and it has patchouli it has quite a strong patchouli and it smells a little bit sharp on my skin on the paper i don't get the sharpness but on my skin it doesn't wear well it does go a little bit too sharp and harsh with the patchouli here is just a very rich vanillic tuberose jasmine gardenia sweet 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 fruity a little bit of nectarine like that same pear, pear seems to be, pear seems to pair often with tuberose. It's very, very similar. It's less bubble gummy than the earlier ones that I mentioned. This is probably closer to the Dior that I mentioned, but they are all very, very similar type of tuberose fragrances. So whether you're a lover or a hater of that type of tuberose, now you know the ones that are basically identical. Like if you've smelled one, you've smelled most of them, if you don't like one, you likely won't like the rest. And also I think that Elisab Le Parfum belongs on this list as well. I am not as familiar with that fragrance. I've only ever tested it like once on the skin, but I remember it having a very, very similar scent profile as well. Like this very sweet, tuberosey type of scent. So I'm not gonna comment too much on that one, but I think it belongs here as well. Correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway, they are all incredibly, incredibly similar. So I'm gonna rank them. I'm gonna rank them from least favorite of mine to most favorite of mine, just based on my own taste and how they've worn on my skin. I'll, I'll let you guys know. So lastly, the last one will be So Scandal from Jean-Paul Gaultier. That is last, that one I didn't enjoy it at all. It was very sweet, very synthetic, very headache inducing. I didn't like it. So that one is last. Then we're gonna have My Way Intense. That one's right after So Scandal. They are so similar, so incredibly similar. However, the original My Way is the way to go. This one is so good. My Way is worth getting. The Intense is not worth getting. The Intense is second last for me. Then Kayali Deja Vu White Flower. That patchouli is just too sharp on my skin. There's something overpowering and synthetic about it. It just isn't that enjoyable for me. So that's on number five. On number four, we have L'Entredi from Givenchy. I just don't reach for it. There's nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it, but it's just the kind of boring and I just don't reach for it. So this is gonna go number four. Then on number three is J'adore Infinisme. I like it, but it's a night out. It's it's a very special occasion sort of night out fragrance. I have to be in the mood for it. Still very sweet tuberose fragrance. Anyway, number three. Number two is Ralph Lauren Woman. I really, really like this one. I like that airy freshness that it has, this creaminess from that hazelnut. It's unique. It's yummy. It's not too overpowering. Bottle is beautiful. I love the little flask thingy. So that's number two. And number one for me at the moment is My Way, the original My Way. Yes, it smells very similar to the rest of them, but it's set apart by that almost berry-like, tingly little delectable scent that it has in the opening. It's so good. I just can't get enough of it. And it's airy and fresh and that sweetness isn't overpowering. So that is my favorite from this type of scent profile. But essentially, all of these kind of smell the same. Comment down below and let me know which other fragrances fall into this general scent profile that you feel like if you've smelled one, you've smelled all of them. 
and let me know if you like sweet tuberose fragrances or not because I'm kind of on the fence it has to be a mood thing for me like sometimes I love it sometimes I just like I can't handle it and it's like a headache in a bottle so that is it I hope you guys enjoyed and found it helpful if you did please make sure to subscribe to this channel make sure to hit the notification bell and that way you'll stay tuned for any new video coming out it helps me a lot it helps the channel grow and we continue to do fun fragrance things together give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.